Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Steelbook Hunting in CEX. That's because this time we are hitting up free CEX tours here in the city of Leeds, as well as some bonus locations, Steelbook Hunting in CEX. Thanks and welcome back to another episode of Steelbook Hunting in CX, the series in which usually I hit up two brand new CEX stores in search for steelbooks. But this episode is slightly different, as this time we'll be hitting up not two, but three CEX stores in this Steelbook Hunting in CEX, the Leeds special. That's right folks, this time we'll be hitting up three CEX stores in and around the city of Leeds on the hunt for steelbooks. But herein lies the problem. There is no way to check online or via the CEX app if any steelbooks are in stock at any specific CEX store. The only way to find out is to visit them, so let's hope this time we strike steel rather than strike out steelbook hunting in CEX. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and please subscribe. I put new videos out every Saturday live at 5, as well as bonus content throughout the week. And I really want you folks along for the ride. And remember, if you ever miss an episode of Steelbook Hunting in CX, if you're not, I'll link them all down below in a playlist. Now, off to Leeds. Here we go then, the first of three CEX tours we'll be visiting this time, Steelbook Hunting in CEX. And this one is simply called Leeds, and it's in the centre of Leeds, and is the biggest store of the three which we are visiting today. So let's jump straight to the Xbox 360 section. And like I said, this is a large store, and it has a large section for pretty much every console. But unfortunately, the Xbox 360 section was a little bit sparse. You can see all the games here are facing forward. There just wasn't very many many games here which means realistically there probably isn't going to be many and spoiler alert any steelbooks here in the xbox 360 section which was a real shame but next we're moving on to the playstation 4 section and so far in this series we have discovered this is the most likely place to find steelbooks so fingers crossed we can find something here and this is a much bigger section than the xbox 360 section and there's always one steelbook which you are always going to find whatever store you go to it is here in the h section no, it is not Formula One 2016. That is a fairly common steelbook, but one still to this day I've not found in satisfactory condition for my collection, which is a real shame. This is a really cheap one. I'd be a really good one to add to the collection. But scrolling down, here is a steelbook you will find in every single CEX Hitman. I don't know what it is, but I just always seem to find that steelbook. Even if there's no other steelbooks in a section, it just seems it will always be a Hitman steelbook. But let me know in the comments down below if you know why this is. I'm not even sure they did a standard release of that game. I think it was only released in a steelbook. I could be wrong, so please let me know down in the comments. Because at the end of the day, the more I know about steelbooks, the easier it is to find them. Even though, unfortunately, this time... We are not having any luck in the PS4 section. Unfortunately, that bad luck did carry over into the PlayStation 3 section. And this was a pretty small section, to be fair. But unfortunately, this is something we are seeing more and more all around the country in every single CEX store. Both the PlayStation 3 and, of course, the Xbox 360 sections are sadly slowly shrinking. Now, here in the PlayStation 5 section is a steelbook which I really want for my collection. But it is 30 quid at the moment. I am a massive real-time strategy fan. And I'm just hoping in the future we can get this one a little bit cheaper as honestly i expect it'll get cheaper over time so for now i'm gonna pass because 30 quid is quite a lot so this is our last hope for cex leads the xbox series x and xbox one sections and thankfully this is the biggest section of this cex store and you can see there is a lot of games here there's a lot of call of duties pretty much an entire shelf of just call of duty games but of course today we are looking for steelbooks and so when it comes to steelbooks i think i've got most of the steelbooks for the call of duty franchise just because they were just produced in such high numbers around halfway through this mammoth xbox one section but unfortunately still no luck on the steelbook front and this is starting to worry me is this is the last place we have to look in this cex store and so far in this series Pretty much in every store, we have managed to find at least one steelbook that we needed for the collection. But I guess that luck has to run out sometime. And unfortunately, it does look like our luck is going to run out here in our first CEX in Leeds. But fear not, we have two more stores left to hunt at. 
Undeterred by our first CEX fail, we are on to Leeds Crossgate. And while this is a much smaller CEX store, remember we never judge a CEX store by its size, we judge it by its content. So let's hope this time we can strike steel rather than striking out. We will continue where we finished off in the last CEX store in the Xbox Series X and Xbox One section. And while this is a smaller section, it is definitely packed. You can see there's a lot of games in here and we have a steelbook, the back for Blood Steelbook is a very cheap steelbook, a very good game, and also a very, very good looking steelbook. But unfortunately, I already have it for the collection, so I am passing this time. I'm trying, of course, not to get duplicate steelbooks, so I did leave that one behind for the next person who goes steelbook hunting in CEX. So let's move on and see if we can find anything else here for the Xbox One. Like I said, this section was really well packed, but unfortunately, that was the only steelbook hiding here in the Xbox One section. Let's hope we find something. Moving on. Like I said earlier in the video, all around the country, it seems that PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 sections are sadly getting smaller and smaller. And this is the case here at Leeds Crossgates. I look at the size of this PlayStation 3 section. It is very small and even worse, unfortunately for myself, there are no steelbooks in this section. I've found steelbooks in the PlayStation 3 sections before, but could be a thing in the past. Or could it? What do we have here? We have found a steelbook in the PlayStation 3 section. And rather than striking steel, it looks like we have struck gold. I was surprised I managed to find a steelbook here in the PlayStation 3 section. But it just goes to show you have to hunt everywhere when you are steelbook hunting in CEX and leave no stone unturned. I did not expect to find a steelbook here in the PlayStation 3 section, but it just goes to show you have to keep hunting. So it seems like we are back in the game. We have finally managed to find a steelbook. So let's carry on that luck, hopefully, here in the Xbox 360 section. And sad to say it, this section is definitely getting smaller. This could be one of the smallest Xbox 360 sections I have ever seen. And unfortunately... This is probably the way things are going because it moves. Let's check the PlayStation 4 section. As like I said, this is more often than not where I find a majority of my steelbooks. And straight away, we find this Batman steelbook. Now, I actually thought I had this in the collection and I didn't. So I am annoyed that I left that one behind. But at least we are finding steelbooks such as this Call of Duty one, which I know I do have in my collection. But if we are finding steelbooks, then chances are there are more in this section and scrolling along alphabetical order of course we are heading to the h section and i think we all know what steelbook is going to be hiding here because in every single cex store we have a copy of hitman for the playstation 4. again sadly i made a mistake with this one as it's hitman 2 and i already have hitman 1 so again should have grabbed this one really regret leaving it behind it's not going too well here so far in the PlayStation 4 section just because of human error. There are two steelbooks which I should have picked up here. But here's the thing. It is easy to forget what you have in your collection or just to get lost in the moment. At the end of the day, when I'm hunting, I have steelbook fever. And it does mean you make some mistakes, even though I did mean to leave this one behind. Because even though it's a beautiful steelbook, I already have it in the collection. But... Oh my, what a beautiful steelbook. So two CEX stores down and one to go. Here leads White Rose. Again, a very large CEX store and this time inside a shopping center. So for the final time this episode, let's head to the PlayStation 4 section. And like I said, we have one last chance to steelbook hunt this time. And hopefully we can find some more steelbooks here in the PlayStation 4 section. And if we do, hopefully I do pick them up this time. So going through here, I thought this was going to be a Dark Souls one, but I think it's just a Dark Souls trilogy box set. Scrolling down, nothing to see so far, but we are coming up to H. And I think by now we can guess what steelbook could be just down here. We're scrolling to it. That's right. As if by magic, the Hitman Steelbook once again is in this CEX store. As like I said, 
it's an everyone. Carrying on in the PlayStation 4 section, and unfortunately this time it does look like the only steelbooks we are going to find is that Hitman steelbook, which is a real shame, but hopefully we'll have more luck in our next section, which is the Xbox One section. So wish us luck to find some steelbooks. Now at first glance this did look like quite a large Xbox One section but you have to take into consideration the first shelf is all Xbox Series X games and it is very rare to find any steelbooks here and in the main Xbox One section a lot of the games are facing cover forward which means there's less games on the shelves than at first it seems. When they're facing spine out there's definitely a lot more games so unfortunately only about 50% of this Xbox One section was full and of that 50% unfortunately we didn't find any steelbooks books. Quite a nice surprise here in the PlayStation 3 section. It was a fairly large selection here for the PlayStation 3. Like three shelves pretty much stacked with games, which honestly, I've said it many times before, it does seem that all around the country, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 sections are getting smaller. But here at Leeds White Rose, they still have a very healthy selection of PlayStation 3 games. But again, unfortunately, today we are looking for steelbooks and unfortunately there wasn't any steelbooks here in the PlayStation 3 section. But at least it's good to see a nice big section. Much like the Hitman Steelbook for the PlayStation 4, the Bioshock Steelbook for the Xbox 360 is a steelbook you see all of the time. And one that is kind of hard to find in good condition because for some reason that Steelbook just seems very, very rusted more often than not. But it's definitely one to pick up if you're in the Xbox 360 section. Around halfway through the section here and unfortunately it doesn't look like we're going to find any Steelbooks. I'm searching behind some of these games just in case there's any hiding at the back of the shelves. But but unfortunately, much like every other section of this store so far today, it doesn't look like we're going to find any steelbooks other than the two most common steelbooks, which we find in every CEX store, being Hitman and Bioshock. So a real shame, but other than the lack of steelbooks, Leeds White Rose was a really, really good CEX store. It's just a real shame that unfortunately this time we found no steelbooks. Here we are then back in the games room after hitting up three CEX stores in and around the city of Leeds steelbook hunting. Now, while there was a few steelbooks dotted around, it wasn't a great selection. And here's the thing, I only managed to pick up one steelbook which I needed for my collection, and it is this steelbook right here. London 2012, the official video game. Now, this is a fairly nice looking steelbook. It isn't in the best condition ever, but for £1.50, I'll take it. At the end of the day, we're always there trying to strike steel, but this time, I guess, we struck gold. This goes to prove exactly what I said at the start of this episode. You never know what to expect when you are steelbook hunting in CEX. We went around three stores today and I only managed to find one steelbook for my collection. But I don't really want to end this episode on a downer. Recently, I went to my local CEX here in the fine city of Norwich and behind the counter, they had a massive selection of steelbooks. But here's the thing. There was staff standing there. It was super busy. I didn't manage to get any kind of video but you just have to take my word for it i did manage to strike steel in my local cex now these steel books are some absolute bargain bangers first up we have deus ex mankind divided this is for playstation 4 and this is super duper cheap at the moment and i'm a massive fan of these kind of cyberpunk inspired games and this is a really really good looking steel book and honestly for the price i just couldn't leave this one on the shelf Sticking with the PlayStation 4 and cheap steelbook bangers, the second steelbook I managed to pick up from my local CEX store here in Norwich is this right here, Prey. Now this is a really, really cool looking steelbook. I find it really weird it's kind of inverted with both the male and the female character. And again, this one was an absolute bargain. And honestly, for the price, again, I just couldn't leave it behind. But the story doesn't end there. Yes, I know this series is literally called Steelbook Hunting in CEX, but recently I managed to find two more steelbooks in the most unlikely of places. Now, in theory, this is actually a Facebook Marketplace listing, which was listed for collection here at Cashmaker here in Norwich. And they had an absolute bargain price on this Company of Heroes free steelbook. Much, much cheaper than the CEX price, and I knew for this price I had to grab it for the collection. Here we have a steelbook which we actually saw in the Leeds CEX store. Now at the time in CEX it was £30. It has since gone down to £25. But when I saw this on Facebook Marketplace, brand new and sealed for just £12, 
I knew it was worth a trip across the city to grab this one. I'm a massive fan of real-time strategy games, especially World War II strategy games, and I could not believe how cheap this one was. Now, I have heard some things about this game. I've heard it's not quite up to the lofty caliber of Company of Heroes 1 and 2, which were both Oh, absolutely perfection but this is in absolutely incredible condition it is sealed it does have this really really nice collector's book but more than that it also has the steel book and again this is a really really nice looking steel book and for 12 quid i thought i'd make an exception and this time hunt for this steel book not in cx the other steelbook I managed to find was actually in my local recycling centre. Now, I find video games here all the time, but I've never, ever found a steelbook here until now. And what an amazing steelbook this is to pick up. The Zombrex edition of Dead Rising 2. One I've wanted for the collection for absolutely ages, and I managed to pick this one up for just a quid. Yes, I know, once again, this steelbook wasn't found in CEX. I managed to find this copy of the Zombrex edition of Dead Rising 2 in my local recycling centre. But here's the thing, normally in this series I always say that the majority of steelbooks are the same price in CEX as the standard version. And here is the thing, this steelbook right here actually has its own separate listing on the CEX app. So if you are after this specific steelbook, you can actually see if this one's in store or even easier, order it online. And if you are steelbook hunting in CEX, this is definitely one to look out for. So this is the standard Zombrex edition of Dead Rising 2. There's also a much more expensive version which does come with a pen. Now I've never seen this one myself but I for sure will be keeping an eye out for this one. There we have it then folks, that was another episode of Steelbook Hunting in CEX as well as other places and this time we managed to add five steelbooks to the collection but only one from the three CEX stores we visited whilst in Leeds and it just goes to show you never know what to expect when you are steelbook hunting in CEX. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, if you did hit that like button, subscribe and join me next time to find out if we strike out or strike steel steelbook hunting in CEX. See you soon!